Hi, I'm Wayward, and this is Grey Goo. I have a one versus one for you today between Balkarn as the shroud in the top right hand corner of the map, and on the left I have Awesome Socks 42 as the goo. The map is Polar Field, a map by Awesome Socks himself, and running, of course, X Sets Quick Script mod. Awesome Socks 42 is the preeminent. Map maker for the Grey Goo community and has been turning out a ton of really awesome one versus one maps. I think this one's actually a two versus two since there are four start locations. This one I find a little wonky if you're on this. Actually, it looks like he's fixed it. There used to be a big old cliff here that was screw up the camera. Uh, so for those who don't know, just to make sure that everyone's on the same uh, playing field as it were. The quick script mod, when the Shroud build their first extractor, they get enough money to build a second one. And when the Goo get the first tick of resources on their mother, see there's f uh, five, one, two, three, four, sorry, four. <clears throat> when they get the first one filled up, it gives them a free second mother. So, Balkarn being pretty aggressive here with, what is that, five advents right out the gate. Yep, five advents with only two extractors. Now, normally, what you like to see the Shroud do, especially with the quick, quick Script mod, is to get a couple of extractors out, maybe three or four, before starting to produce all of these advents. You actually see um, another, another advent coming out right now. Looks like, however, it will serve him well, because Awesome Socks is being really aggressive with these Striders and Proteans. Now, this is four Striders, that's two small Proteans, that's enough to have built a third Mother. So this is a really aggressive play, and as we start seeing these Clashers come out, it looks like this push is going to have to be pushed back. Because this is a, a really significant investment this early in the game, and they're not going to be able to take this Extractor out. Doing some decent damage to it, forcing these Clashers to come out. But that may just end up biting. Nope, looks like Balkarn is holding those Clashers back for now to defend his early economy. In spite of these two extractors, it looks like actually Balkarn is doing pretty well economically, getting a steady stream of Clashers out, which is going to be a problem pretty soon for Awesome Socks. Awesome Socks now sitting happily on three mothers, probably going to be saving up for a fourth as soon as possible. Four to six mothers is a pretty comfortable economy for the goo, especially against this two extractor now, three extractor play from the shroud. Nothing too exciting going on at this moment. It looks like a little bit of a poke here for Awesome Socks, just to see what Balkarn's up to. Balkarn, for his part, is going around with this Mimic, sees this additional small Protean incoming. Might lose the Mimic for his troubles. There's a fourth mother coming out. Really well played by both players so far, I must say. This um, pushing is a good strategy for Awesome Socks to try to put a little bit of pressure on the Shroud player so they can't just expand their economy willy-nilly. And Balkarn, in his, uh, for his part, is holding that pretty well for now. A couple of Clashers coming out to spot, it looks like. Now, one thing I do think that Balkarn is doing here that is a bit of a problem is he's putting all of his eggs in one basket, as it were. Everything he has is right here, jammed up in this corner of the map. And Awesome Socks is allowed to extend himself, spread out wherever he wants, and be wherever he wants. Looks like we do have a sneaky extractor coming out. I feel like this is a dangerous position because that's a natural expansion for the next mother that comes out. With five mothers right now, I think Awesome Socks is feeling pretty happy with that economy and is going to be able to start switching into overdrive unit production. Let's see, looks like that micro is going to be enough 
Looks like we might have another mother coming soon. Looks like Awesome Socks over reacting a little bit to pull his entire army up here. Well, most of his army, it looks like. To defeat that one clasher. Good scouting, I will say. Another extractor here, actually. What are we on in terms of extractors? Five extractors to five mothers. So I think that's actually pretty good in terms for the shroud. Uh, looks like he's just now catching up with Awesome Socks in terms of resources. We do have a crucible coming out, so that's going to be the tier two ground units. Another advent for increased production, and the zenith coming out as well. So those tier two air units. Uh, what I like to do with Greygoo, because it's not a widely played game, in case anyone outside the community does actually watch one of these, how the shroud work is these amplifiers, see those little pips there when I select the structures, the amplifiers increase the tech level of all surrounding buildings, which is kind of a neat mechanic, I think. And it causes the Shroud to build these little cluster bases around their amplifiers, because amplifiers are relatively expensive. This is the Shroud's version of a wall. It's an inversion field that pushes units away, and when placed close together like this would prevent any units from passing through. Taking a quick look at the tech, neither player, it looks like ooh, the uh, Goo player is actually researching Bastion Volatility. The Bastion is a moving wall that taunts enemy units. There's actually a Bastion right there. You can see they have tons of health, 750 compared to this 115. In addition to, I believe, blocking shots for units behind it, it also, you'll see in a second, We'll actually see that exclamation point. It will force those units to repeatedly retarget to the Bastion. Uh, however, this is going to be really bad for Awesome Socks, since that is a significant force of Clashers. Wow, actually, there's just two. It's like Bastion Volatility actually researched, so. Looks like these fugues come out just in time to help clean up the last of the goo. Now, fugues, when a unit dies under the effects of the fugues attack, it will spawn a coda, which is what these little little guys are. It's a token unit, basically. And they have a limited lifespan. You see they die there. And now we have, finally, a counter push from Balkarn. This is a terrible army. I don't know what's going on with that. A bunch of drovers? It's just feeding the fugues. <laughs> oh my gosh. That bastion going to be subject to its volatility soon. There it goes exploding violently, which is really fun. Actually, that army manages, that weird army of uh, drovers manages to clean up that much higher tech force from Balkarn. Balkarn now kind of hurting in terms of units, although he does have some high-tech stuff coming out like this mock, which is a suicide unit crashes into um, ground units. We have eight mothers out now for Awesome Socks, which is a really, really good number for the Goo player. And Balkarn here is in a more than a bit of trouble. I have another um, extractor coming out for him. But he really needs to be a lot up in terms of his army counts. See <laughs> those aversion fields pushing the drivers back. Bam! That's pretty hilarious. The noise from those is really annoying. Those aversion fields in the center. So, you see, we have one mother in the center right now, and, um, spaces for three more, or if this one wanted to patrol between these points, it could gain resources more quickly. Those aversion fields were placed there in an attempt to slow down the production of those, or the use of those spigots. Another bastion, they're being used to excellent effect by Awesome Socks. Do love to see that. Not too much coming out here in terms of army composition for Balkarn just yet. I'd love to see 
from other units used, honestly. We also have Progenitor Conversion, which will spawn small Proteans when Bastions or large Proteans die. And for the Shroud Protected Investment, I actually don't know what Shroud Upgrade, I'm not super familiar with Shroud Upgrade. Extractors gain an aura that grants increased armor and heal over time to units around it. One stack of networked armor. I do not know what networked armor is. Oh, I think uh, the Klaxon can be upgraded with that. Also, channeled buildup, that's a popular one, causes the howler, I see only one howler, but it causes the um, AoE of those to be much, much larger. Bit of harassment of this extractor here. It runs away, that's pretty well done by Balkarn. Losing that extractor would not be great. Let's see, in terms of structures, there are nine extractors to nine mothers. So, let's take a look at the resources. Well in favor of our goo player. This is a massive but low-tech army for the goo. You see that Klaxon charging in there, not doing it too much because that's a big old ball of goo right now. But this is a chance for Awesome Socks to do some significant damage while this army trudges its way up into Bolkarn's base. That amplifier going down, that's some tech lost for Bolkarn. Possibly this advent going down as well. And finally the army catches up, but this is a massive goo force. And there's just not a lot here, and it's not even fully engaged with these Klaxons. Just a lot going on here, a lot going down, a lot of explosions. This goo army is going to get cleaned up, but this is some significant damage done. And even as the army is getting cleaned up, we do have a ton more small Protians over here to reinforce, potentially. So, not a huge loss for the goo player. Um, looks like Balkar needs to commit some more resources, maybe some additional production facilities. This army, I think, is probably going to get cleaned up as well by Balkarn. Awesome Socks needs to get his act together if he's going to monopolize um, on his current position. A lot of rallied goo units here. Possibly a mother going to go down. Looks like uh, maybe two. Yep, I don't think he's going to be able to get that out in time and not even making an attempt to save it, not making an attempt to use it either. Really late reaction there. Uh, although, and also uh, this one is making some account of itself, killing a decent portion of that army, and there's a lot of crescents up on that hill. Wow. Another extractor. This is, this is nice. These four extractors coming down. Oh no, the poor Crescent's being attacked by the Clashers. Let's see. Oh, loses one, possibly to lose more. I did miss a little attack over here. Not too much damage done by the looks of it. Things seem to be evening up, though, for Balkarn with these Crescents. These expensive, expensive Crescents being in danger. The second one goes down. A third one in danger of going down as well. Mox crushing this army, and there's actually two left to kill those Crescents, potentially. Only one of those four crescents remains, and the Shroud have taken the center, the valuable, valuable center of the map, and Awesome Socks is actually down a Protean. Taking a look, it's nine extractors now, and the resourcing is not yet in favor of the Shroud, but I imagine it will turn that way soon. One extractor going down, potentially another one, but this could be a missed opportunity for Awesome Socks if he's Fugues. This entire army actually getting a little bit caught out. Bit of an issue there. Uh, these striders actually acquitting themselves fairly well. Looks, looks like there's some harassment going on. I did seem to miss this corner getting cleaned up. I apologize. A lot 
going on in this match, and it's only about half over. So there's a lot more coming. Um, another extractor being taken out right in Bulkarn's... Wow, it actually does go down. Right in Bulkarn's backyard. Supply actually fairly heavily in favor of the Shroud player, but you wouldn't know it looking at this combat. The Shroud acquitting themselves fairly well on two fronts. Uh, not as well as I think Bulkarn would like. These Crescents doing some nasty damage. Let's take another quick look at the tech. No further movements on the tech so far. Balkarn, I think, needs more production. He's having trouble spending his resources as fast as he's acquiring them. Another extractor being picked off. Ouch. Let's take a look at the extractor numbers, actually. Crescent being caught out by the fugue there. There's Crescent's going down. That's a major loss for Awesome Socks. Awesome Socks does manage to clean up these extractors. Another extractor going down. So Awesome Socks doing some great targeted harassment. Still 10 extractors. So for his part, Bulkarn doing a good job of rebuilding those lost extractors as they die. Now up to 10 mothers. Nearing the capacity, actually, for Mother Goose. Oof. Losing an extractor there. That sneaky extractor, I think, was trying to escape. <laughs> more harassment. This extractor is going to take forever to go down, but it looks like there's more units on the way. A little mama kill team coming out, searching for mothers to slow down. Awesome Soxes. Economic expansion. Going to lose a mother there. A massive force here with a lot of Tempests and Striders and Crescents. They all kind of look pretty similar, actually. It's kind of hard to pick them apart at a glance. A mother going down there and some Amplifiers coming up. Those are going to be turned into turrets, I assume. A little Goo Force there waiting to respond. This goo force being um, cleaned up. I think that's such a neat unit design, honestly. Yeah, this army's going to get cleaned up, it looks like. Amplifiers don't have time to go up and turn into turrets, and that unit, that army's just going to melt, as are, I assume, these extractors. Nine, and then... Uh, down to nine extractors. No additional tech. I'd almost like to see some additional tech come out for someone. There's another mother kill team with a ton of fugues. This is an almost full health mother, so it will last a little while, but I think it's going to go down. Really late reaction there from Awesome Socks. Does not even manage to kill any of those clashers. This right now is looking pretty bad for Awesome Socks. Balkarn with a massive army and a significant army advantage. And now it looks like with seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, only seven mothers, Awesome Socks has a little bit of catching up to do. Nice aversion field wall there to keep these extractors safe. Balkarn has done a really good job of rebuilding his economy. Looks like there's a second crucible. A third crucible coming out, it looks like. More advents. Balkarn is actually almost maxed out. Let's see. I wonder... Let's see one. Let's take a look at the units. I was thinking he might have built his end tier super unit, but I don't see it. That would be nice. I would really love to see a super unit come out. 
actually almost caught up there in terms of mothers again. Economies remain relatively even somehow. So, really well done by Balkar in spite of all that goo harassment. Attempted Strider harass there gets easily cleaned up by that Klaxon force. Another massive assault of Balkarn's base by Awesome Socks. I feel like this singular focus on trying to kill base structures may actually be a problem right now. This is not a great positioning for the Goo army. Those um, Crescents really out of position and all going down to Mox. Oh my god. Devastating. Devastating for the Goo player to lose all of that so quickly and decisively. Those Crescents able to do a little bit of damage, but not nearly enough, I don't think. Oh no, the Crescents being attacked by Klaxons. Oh, painful. Balkarn is learning and adapting to what Awesome Socks is doing, and Awesome Socks uh, doesn't seem to be doing the same with a lot of low-tech units, although I guess goo with a goo, it's it's really easy to keep low-tech units and, and hard to get a significant number of the higher tier stuff. But these Crescents did not seem to be doing the trick. Um, maybe an upgrade for the Crescents, there are several, but this does not seem to be really, really working. Um, what I'd love to see actually is dwellers, a couple, one or two dwellers uh, to clean up some of this. This is nasty fencing. Fencing these units away. And now Balkarn at max population. Looks like he might have lost an extractor there. No, he didn't lose it. There it is. We actually do have another upgrade, it looks like, potentially. The noise from reversion shields actually kind of gives me a headache. It's really obnoxious. This being cleaned up pretty well by Awesome Socks. Those codas, not codas, um, mocks lining up to do some kill shots on this goo army. Awesome Socks not doing badly, but I, I'm struggling to see how he's going to take Bulkarn out at this point. Bulkarn sitting on almost maxed out resources, actually sitting on maxed out population, able to take losses if, if that were even a thing. Trying to kill these mothers. And basically, this is all of Awesome Socks' army. There's a small force up here as well. But this is only a small percentage of Balkarn's units, and now he's going in and picking off those mothers one by one. More units streaming down. He has found the opening, and he is pushing as hard as he can. Three mothers have gone down in a matter of moments. Awesome Socks feeling like he's being routed and demoralized by this constant pressure, this constant assault. All of these extractors being built. There's 19 extractors. My god. That is the most I've ever seen. Is Mox not even bothering? No, there is. Say, not even bothering to kill the striders. The striders actually do survive and are going to potentially whittle that away. This has the looks of the hallmark battle, the final major battle of this encounter. There was Mox doing tremendous amounts of damage to Awesome Socks' army. Awesome Socks feeling like it's impossible to break through this crazy wall of aversion fields. But this is basically everything that Awesome Socks has. Starting to build back those mothers, so well done there. But Balkarn, after looking like he was 
out early in the game just was patient and kept building and kept rebuilding over and over again. Awesome Sox just being com completely slaughtered by these Klaxons. Completely slaughtered by these mocks. The Crescent's not doing nearly as good of a job as Awesome Sox would have hoped. Really, I think the answer here would have been Destructors. But Awesome Sox would have needed a lot of them. Now it's 200 supply to 45. That's not a, not a differential you want. Awesome Sox, again, losing mothers here. Again, losing mothers here. Was at 9, now down to 8. Now down to 7. Really well played by Balkarn, honestly. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Listening to these tracks doesn't even matter at this point. If I sell 20. Actually has 20. That's ridiculous. I have never seen... I have never seen so many um, refineries. I've never seen so many um, income-generating things before in a game. This large map allowing that to happen. This mock just kind of biding its time. Oh, it's a chime, not a mock. There are some units that look pretty similar. Awesome Socks continuing to try, continuing to push, continuing to attempt to come back, but I really don't see. There's no way at this point. This game has been over for a while, honestly. <laughs> this is kind of like bad manner amplifiers being, being put here, being turned into turrets. There comes some mocks to kill some more mamas, probably. Everywhere you look, Awesome Socks is being wasted. Honestly, if I were Awesome Socks, I would have I would have gracefully bowed out at this point. This is not the the point in a game where a comeback happens, and I believe that's the quit. Looks like the time has stopped, so it's hard to tell the exact tipping point when things stopped going in Awesome Socks' favor. I think. Possibly the, the fight that happened here where the Crescents were killed. And it was very clear the Crescents weren't doing the job. Uh, that would have been the opportunity, the last opportunity, I think, for Awesome Socks to reconsider what was going on and allow some large proteins to come out that were doing something besides Bastions. The Bastions worked really well in the beginning, but as the unit numbers started increasing for for um, Balkarn, it became really clear that the, the, the tech-unit combo that Awesome Socks was going for didn't work. I really think that the the proper decision would have been Destructors with one of their upgrades of the Bouncing uh, the bouncing Goo or the, the AoE would have been much, much better than Crescents. And Bulkarn just... Man, that's a tough nut to crack, I gotta say. He just kept rebuilding. Uh, there was no real point where he wasn't able to come back from the damage done to him. Um, and that's that's a real nod to what a careful, methodical player Balkarn is. That he wasn't visibly, to me, rattled. He just kept going, kept coming back, kept pushing on and persevering. And uh, really well played by both, but I have to give the nod to Balkarn for, for that persistence and for building just an ungodly number of extractors and diversion fields. Um, really well, really well done. The The name of this replay was Absolute Wayward, so I was a little concerned that something crazy was going to happen, um, like some cheese, but I, I just, uh, I actually really liked, really liked this game. So I don't know if very many people are going to stay for the whole 30 or whatever minutes this ended up being, but uh, for whoever does, thank you, and this has been Wayward, and this has been Grey Goo, and I will catch you next time.